me, Life Simmer, and welcome back to The Sims 3 Midnight Hollow Part 5. Alrighty, so in this part, we need to change Becca's um, outfit. In the last part, we gave her this crazy blue hair that I am in love with, and she has some really cute makeup. I think she is an adorable Sim. I love her so much. And then um, we also had Danny age up, so we need to change her appearance as well. Um, so let's go ahead and take Danny, not Danny, let's go ahead and take Becca into Create a Sim. Alrighty, so we already changed, you know, her hair and everything, and I think she's absolutely, amazingly stunning. I think she is really, really beautiful, but we're going to go ahead and give her something a little bit different for her everyday wear, because she is, you know, a very unique sim coming from Midnight Hollow. I don't think she's, like, um, quite as edgy as this outfit per se, but I feel like she can definitely do something a little bit crazier than I would usually throw on my sims because, well, that's what this LP is all about. So I know some people like really aren't too big of fans of, you know, like crazy clothes and stuff like stuff like that, um, but that's kind of like my idea with this LP is to kind of do things that, you know, my everyday kind of LPs, like generations and stuff, we really wouldn't, you know, put this dress on our sims and have them walk around. That would be a little crazy. Um, so, I think we're going to do, I think we're going to take this outfit and make it look super, like, dark. I don't know. I don't know what I want to do. I kind of like the idea of, like, this. But she's definitely not that girly. But she needs to have a dress. So this is a little difficult. I'm not quite sure what I want to put on her. Oops. There we go. Fix that really quick. I don't know, guys. Ah, I hate when I get like this. I really have no idea. I mean, that kind of works from Showtime. I feel like it's um kind of edgy. I like that. What else do we got in here? Ooh, ooh. I think something like this would be fun. Supernatural will definitely help. Oh, yes. <laughs> I really am not sure. Oh, my gosh. Oops, not that. Okay, we're going to do this top. It's like a crop top, and it's from The Sims 3 uh, store, and it is super cute. <laughs> so we're going to do that. I think we're going to give her some high-waisted jeans like she's kind of wearing right now. And let me go ahead and customize those a little bit, such as make this. And her shoes will be really simple. Just some toms. And, you know, you don't want to go too crazy. We'll go ahead and drag that to here. So, yeah. I like this. It's, like, not the same pink that she's wearing on her head. But it's a little bit brighter for her. And I feel like she's, like, a really bright sim. You know what I mean? And that I really like. So, I'm going to go ahead and finish up, you know, her formal wear and everything. And I will get back to you guys. Alright, so her new outfit is super cute. So, let's uh, go ahead and take Danny into Create a Sim now and switch it up a little bit and get her a little bit cuter. Alright, for Danny, I think I want to give her, I don't know. To be honest, I really... I'm not quite sure. It has to be something unique. Definitely has to be unique. Oops, she's in her pajamas. Let's go into her every day. That way we'll get some more hair options. She definitely has to have, you know, like a unique look. Um, like that. I've never used uh, this hair. And I feel like this is really cute. Because I feel like some of the things I have are a little bit too normal. Like this hair. It's super cute and I love it so much. I use it all the time on my kids. 
like all the time because I think it is the cutest thing. It's cute as a button, but I feel like I want to use this one because I never, I've never used it. Same with this one. I've never used uh, this one either. I don't know. I've used uh, this one before. I love this hair. Um, I think we're going to do this one and switch the colors up. Oops. What did I just click on? Mm -mm, no. Get me out of here. Let's uh, give her some crazy highlights. Some like neon blue highlights that are awesome. I like them. Alrighty, and let's go ahead and give her uh, some new clothing. I, once again, not quite sure, you know, what she's going to get. Um, <laughs> I am so lost. And let's, we could give her, like, Becca's old outfit like this. But I feel she's a little bit more bright than Becca was. Like, when Becca was, like, a little kid, she wore a very dark um, outfit. And I feel like maybe... Danny's a little bit more bright than she is, and so we're just going to lighten this up a little bit. Did help a lot. Just brighten up all the colors just a tad bit. It's easy. Okay. Let's do this one actually give that a little bit of like a blue tint to match her hair and yeah it's you know it's different it doesn't really match and that's what I like about it it's a uh, really really different and I think that's neat I like that so now I'm gonna go ahead and give her a little pair of let's give her some like little flats wait what are these so let's give her these little shoes. They're like little boots. I like those with this outfit. Alrighty, so now I'm going to finish off Danny's little outfits, and then I'll get back to the gameplay. Alrighty, so I went ahead and changed her appearance now, and one thing I noticed is Abigail, like poor Abigail, her tattoos came out so bad, and I haven't seen a tattoo um, artist in this town so far uh, to go ahead and remove those from her body so she might be stuck with those tattoos this whole LP and that would really suck she's really tired actually so I'm gonna have Abigail go to sleep for a little while same with Levy and I think I'm gonna let Becca and Danny go ahead and go out somewhere and have some fun together and see what's up. So I think they are going to, they need to go somewhere that could be fun. And I need to um, place a fall festival a lot for sure. But I think we should go to a, oh, this looks adorable, Grave Grocer. Is this a place where I can buy groceries? What is all of this? I will literally cry. No, it doesn't look like it. Um. Huh. Buy fridge. Nope, this is like, you know, what you can find inside of, you know, the grocery store. You know, you have your candles and your perfumes and... Your little uh, lamps and stuff, but you don't have like legit food. I remember like when I was younger and I would like play The Sims 2, I would love going to the grocery store like a weirdo. I would like get so excited. I'd be like, yes, yes. All right, I think we're gonna go to, we're gonna go explore a little bit. We're gonna head over here to the pitch park and it's raining out, but you know, YOLO. I just used YOLO. I actually used YOLO. Oh, yes. <laughs> Alrighty, so this is it. It's pretty dark, of course. You know, this is Midnight Hollow. But I like this. I forget what these are called, but I love how it looks with, like, the rain coming off the roof. I think that's really cute. Let's 
What's over here? Oh, some little orange butterflies. Look at them. We're going to try to catch some butterflies. I love how they pop out because everything's so dark. And then you just see these bright orange butterflies. I think that is awesome. Oh. Let's go over there and pick that mushroom. Okay, Danny. <laughs> Not Danny. Okay, Becca. Danny's over here just talking to some random men. She's like, yeah, I do have a dad. I do have, like, a little brother. But, you know, I could kill him off for you if you want me to. That sounds fabulous. Oh, I also have this sister. She's here, but, like, I could totally just chloroform her, and we would be good to go. Yes, yes, yes. Please. I mean, you gotta help me out. You gotta help me out. Go. Get her. You know what I mean, my man? Yeah, I get, I get what you're saying. Did I just narrate that? I am terrible at narrating, too. That sounds fabulous! Okay, um... Let's head somewhere else now. Let's go to the gym. Leave our little sister here. <gasps> Look at the railroad! Oh, that's awesome! No! It's too cool. You guys see the railroad right here? That is awesome. But we're going to go ahead and run next door. And Danny's talking to that man, so I'm going to let her do her. Oh, gosh. There's a topless woman here. Forever haunting me. Forever haunting me. I swear. It, I'll never get a break. That will never go away until, like, I reinstall my game. It's so bad. Alright, my impression on this gym is it's really empty. I don't know if there's other gyms, but from what I can see... There's really not much to it, and out here, I think, you know, if you have the basketball collection from The Sims uh, 3 store, you could totally put that out here, and it would look adorable. So, let's go upstairs and uh, look around a bit. Okay, so it's really, really, like, plain in here, like, really plain. But only the hardcore salty, sp what is it, the salty... Spatoon Sims, come here. Us, Weenie Hut Juniors, do not belong. Look at all her tattoos. Oh my god, Abigail would be so jealous, to be honest. Alright, let's go dumpster diving. Let's do it. Screw the gym, let's go dumpster diving, yeah! That's what I like to do on my free time. Cute. I remember the herb sims in the city. Like, I used to dumpster dive whenever I got the chance because you'd make such good money. Um, let's see. A ladybug was found by Becca while dumpster diving. Oh. We're gonna go ahead and sell that mushroom. A firefly. So she found like animals. Um which I mean I guess is kind of weird. And now she smells really bad and I don't think there's showers here actually. Actually, yeah, there is showers. Perfect. Um I don't know which one's girl or boys, but we're going to take a wild guess. Of course, my first guess is completely wrong. Go to the other one. Go shower up. Danny. Danny, you went home, right? She went home. Thank goodness. I was like, I still at the park talking to that random man. Kids nowadays. I swear. Um. Then we'll use the restroom. And then we, I think, like, there's, like, little places like this. You know? All over the place. And I'm really curious to know what the heck they are. So, oh, look at the little deer. The little deer is just chillin'. Oh, he's just like, you done goofed. You done goofed. So cute. 
Oh, and people ask me all the time, what does you don goofed mean? It's, um, there was a viral video a while ago, um, called Jesse Slaughter, and her dad used to scream, you don goofed, like you messed up. So, I don't know, just, it stuck with me through, like, my whole childhood, pretty much. Like, it's just been there. People are like, what does that mean, you don goofed? But, yeah, I've just been saying it for a long time now. Alright, so let's go visit the community pool, you know? I wonder if it's going to be nasty looking and dark and, like, not enjoyable. I want to know. But, you know, Sims in this town, that's, like, kind of the cool thing, you know? I don't know where I'm going with that. Let's see. Actually, the pool's pretty nice. You have lots of diving boards, and I don't know what these are. I guess these are, like, changing rooms over here, even though Sims, like, get naked wherever they want. I think it's nice. I, I like it. The walls and stuff look a little scary, but other than that, I love it. And I kind of like that the walls are like that, because it gives it, like, the Midnight Hollow type look. I like it. It's, uh... Let's see, if we go upstairs, we have sitting areas, and then up one more, you got your bathrooms, and up here you can throw people into the pool, that'd be awesome. Um, they said multitasking is coming in The Sims 4, I believe uh, we should be able to possibly hurt people. Bad. Oh, I'm scary. Alrighty, we are going to go ahead and head home now, it's 9.30. I think Becca should head home. There's no reason for you to be out this late. I'm going to blame it all on you. I didn't keep you out this late. You kept, you stayed out this late, Becca. I'm really crazy right now. I just woke up from a nap. Oh, she almost died. I just woke up from a nap, so I, I really am pretty, you know, pretty crazy right now. So uh, I hope you guys enjoy. Eh? Alrighty, we're going to go ahead and buy another bed. And we're going to... Have the girls uh, go to sleep now. And Levy and them are like going to wake up to take care of the baby and then go back to bed. So I will get back to you guys in the morning. Look at this. She's like, bye. Sleeping in your bed. You done goofed. You done goofed. <laughs> I, I say that so often. All right, get up and go to sleep in your own bed. Alright guys, I will get back to you guys in the morning like I was saying. Alrighty, so it's morning time and it's actually Gage's birthday today. So we need to age him up and get him in toddler form, I guess. And we need to start tending to our garden. Um, that is pretty darn bad. But we're going to go have ourselves a little cake slice and clean up and everything. Because uh, the girls make a huge mess. Don't you dare play with that doll! Oh, no, 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 no. Go play with your toys. Go bang a drum. But do not play with the imaginary toy. So scary. I use it in my Generations uh, LP because that's what it came with. But other than that, you guys know they still terrify me. Never mind, you can't play at all. You're going to school. Story of my life. Story of my life. Alrighty, so the girls are going to go off to school now, and I think I'm going to have Becca sign up for an after-school activity as well when uh, she gets out of school. I think that'd be, you know, something for her to do. So I'm going to have her meet some new friends, and I think I'm going to do that with both of the girls. They need to, you know, make some friends. And look at little Lovey. Oh, look at him in his little outfit. He's like, I look ridiculous. So cute. I love it. He's, um, uh, what is he now? Uh, lab tech. So he definitely needs to, uh, work on his gardening skill. For sure. Abigail, she's been a stay at home, uh, whatever the heck she is. Uh, our store is pretty much like the worst store ever. Uh, when we get a little bit more money, I'm gonna like build like a little shop or something. But as of right now, this is pretty much uh, what we got, you guys. We got two little blankets. Well, two like little rugs with toys on them. 
And random strangers, when we invite them, they come into our house and they're like, you know what? I think I'm going to purchase this little... Oh my gosh, I just got cut off because in the middle of everything, like, I just had the biggest sneeze ever. Um, anyways, I forget what I was saying, but for those who are wondering, you can uh, actually sell cars and everything. Here's the Savvy Sellers parking space, so you would, you know, put your car there. Let's say we put, okay, this one right here. We could actually go ahead and sell it for money. But we, we don't have money to do that right now. And we most definitely will. Like, I'll actually purchase one and put it out front. If one of our Sims could actually steal for us, which none of them can, I would most definitely, you know, do a little bit of a klepto. But I think we are going to go ahead and possibly get arrested totally okay with it totally okay with it and what is one place that Danny feels the need to spread her art skills all over I think she wants to go to the lonely literary cafe over here and I've never actually been here so we can explore it and we can uh, go here and do a little bit of street art we'll do a ground mural right here See what that's all about. We're going to call a babysitter. Gage, it may be your birthday, but we're coming here. Um, so let's see what this is all about. Okay, these sofas are so adorable. I love them. They look so nice. I love floral print. I will throw that out there. I am a huge girly girl, and I love floral, 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 floral for days. And I love this. I, I wish I could just make that, like, a, uh, make that pattern available for my everyday use. I totally would. Um, Levy, does Levy want to participate in a free sampling test? Yes. Drinking that mislabeled liquid seems uh, to have affected Levy. Don't worry, it's not contagious. I'm scared. What do they, what does he look like? I'm, I'm terrified. Oh my gosh, look at the little curtains that have the floral print on them. Oh my gosh, <laughs> I'm such a girl. Um, the thing about this cafe and all the cafes that you're going to find is, um, let me just leave work. He's in a bad mood because of that potion thingy. Is they're never going to actually have a register in them unless you go to like a world adventures world because you have to place one yourself. So maybe in the next part I'll actually place a cash register and we can come here and get food and it would be super cute. And I'll, you know, redecorate it a little bit. And then out here you have some more dining areas. And then right here you have one of those little things that you guys, you know, I've said I liked a couple of times now and then upstairs you have your bathrooms which are pretty dark but yeah I love floral print so this is awesome for me flowers everywhere love it all right and Abigail's like over here doing some street art just so you know I guess edge this place up a little bit but I'm scared, so we're going to come over here to Levy and see what they did to him. I'm actually terrified. He might look exactly the same, but if he doesn't, I will scream. He looks exactly the same. He looks actually, like, really happy. I don't know. Okay, so I asked my teacher the other day. Um, for those who know what chloroform is, you know, it's something that can, like, knock people out. Pretty much chloroform is, like, a... A substance that people can only take so much of before they pass out and I asked my gym teacher how I could make it um, and she told me you know not to search it up but she can figure it out for me and I was like okay she didn't want me to search it up just in case I actually did kill somebody it would be on my search history and she said so don't search it up I'll figure it out for you and I was like oh my gosh I, I was just joking. Like, I was just really curious. I asked her what the medical use for it was. And now my teacher is, like, looking up chloroform for me. True story. True story. 
we are going to go ahead and end this part here. Not really too much happened. Um, Levy looks absolutely distraughted. He's like, what? Okay, I think they're starting to take effect on him. Or maybe he's just making a ratchet face. Either way, fix that face. Thank you. Alrighty, guys. So, I will see you guys in the next part of The Sims 3 Midnight Hollow. Um, and until then, I hope you guys enjoyed. Love you guys so much. Bye, guys.